Well, in the book that I've written called Living Courageously, I, of course, teach on a lot of different things, but I, I deal with some very specific fears, and one of them is the fear of losing control. Now, maybe you don't all experience that, but I know that I sure did in my life. You know, I had been hurt a lot in my past. I had been abused by my dad. I'd been hurt really bad by the my, my first husband. I'd been hurt by a lot of people, and I kind of learned through experience that I couldn't trust people, although I had to get over that too. But in the process of that, I became a controller. Now, I have a strong personality anyway, so that wasn't very hard for me. But I really had to realize that the basis of that need to control was a fear of being hurt or the fear of being taken advantage of. And I just want to encourage you today by saying that we need to let God be in control Nobody wants to be in a relationship where somebody else is trying to control them all the time. And you know, my husband finally had to tell me, he said, I feel like that I have to think what you want me to think. I've got to do what you want me to do. And he said, I feel manipulated by you. Well, that wasn't making a healthy relationship. And so guess what? I had to change. And I'm sure if you're in a position where you feel like that you just spin your wheels trying to control everything and you're really getting tired of it, it's wearing you out, that you also would like to change. And the only way that we can do that when we have these fears of losing control or the fear of being hurt if we're not the number one in charge making all the decisions, the only way, the only way that we can get over that fear is by learning to trust God. You know, nobody can promise you that you're never going to get hurt. I wouldn't even try to do that. But I can promise you that Christ is your healer and if you've got your trust in Him, even if you do get hurt, He'll come along and heal you, and you'll learn through each and everything that you go through how to trust God more and more and more. You know, trust is such a strong thing. I think about it a lot because in every situation that we come up against, we can trust or we can be in fear. We can trust God to take care of it or we can try to take care of it ourselves. And if you're anything like... Uh, me, or if you've experienced what I've experienced, I've learned that many times when I try to get involved and do what only God can really do perfectly well, I just make the situation a lot worse. And so I just want to encourage you today that you don't have to be afraid of losing control. You know, I always say trying to run the whole world is a big job. And I was kind of like that. It was like I wanted to be in charge of everything. I wanted to know everything, be involved in everything. And we want to lay that aside so we can have the life that Jesus died to give us. He wants us to be courageous enough to trust Him that He's wiser than we are, loves us with a love that we cannot even imagine, and God has a good plan for our lives, and He will take care of us. So I just want to remind you today of Psalm 37, 5, which says, Commit your way unto the Lord. Trust also in Him, and He will bring it to pass. So this is a good day to decide, I'm going to be courageous, I'm going to step out in faith, and I'm going to trust God that He's going to take care of me, and I can give up trying to control everything because God is on my side.